The language, the cultural differences, the different business structures and powerful unions, can it get any worse? That's a question for our foreign trade expert from the Association of German Chambers of Industry and Commerce, Ilya Nortnager. Welcome. Hi. Can it get any worse? Well, it can not get worse, but it's different. So you have another administration, another way to deal with the administration. You have other tax laws, so the way in the French market is difficult, but the German companies are used to this country, so they can handle this. And we're talking about 3,000 German firms, as we heard, that have set up there. It's definitely worth it then, isn't it? It is. France is a big market, about 65 million people living there. So um, it's a big market with good infrastructure, with um, very, very well trained people um, leaving university. So it's very attractive to sell high quality German products in the French market. I suppose it's also in Germany's interest, considering that its neighbor has to be performing up to par when France is Germany's most important trading partner. If you take a look at the figures, the French fork out a lot more than other nations on German products, over 100 billion euros worth. It's followed by the US, the Netherlands, Britain and China. And of course, trade with France is a factor that's keeping Europe's biggest economy chugging along quite nicely. How can the Germans ensure the situation doesn't suddenly deteriorate, though? Well, France is in a very, very difficult situation right now, and it has to reform as Spain and as Portugal uh, do right now. So it also has to keep up um, um, the, um, the speed to raise mm -hmm. speed in reforming the country and in flexibilizing the surrounding, especially for small and medium sized companies. Why has this mid sized sector been missing in France for so long? Well, French history and French economic history is all about creating national champions. So mm -hmm. to, to have a picture of France in the world, which is, uh, which is from uh, relies on big companies. So sometimes uh, the small and medium sized companies are just forgotten and this has to change. Can the French, uh, does France have the potential to emulate Germany and set up a similar system? It can, but you cannot set up a similar system, but you can learn something from maybe from Germany, maybe from other countries. It's about flexibilizing the labor market. It's about the vocational training system to, to keep people in the companies which know how to handle um, such new contracts to uh, react flexible. So this is something which France can learn and should learn. What about financial flexibility? The, the government's already set up, has only just now set up a bank specifically to finance these types of medium-sized companies. Yeah, the French banking sector is very special. It's a big banking sector, but it also was harmed by the crisis. So n right now it's not so easy to get credit. So a uh, um, bank, the supporting bank, government bank to support companies is a very big step. Germany has such a bank like the KFW. And just very briefly, I suppose it's also going to take a change of, of mind, how people think about things, how employers and employees work together. Well, it's about working together to get a better company and to save jobs. And this is something which is almost missing. So this is a step in the right direction. Ilya Nortnagel, thank you very much. You're welcome.